General Motors wouldn't be doing anybody any service if it goes bankrupt. It has to do what it has to do in order to stay competitive in today's economic climate. Mm -hmm. Even if that means uh, eliminating 18,000 jobs? Even if it means eliminating 20,000 jobs. Or 30,000? Whatever. Now how about all the jobs here in Flint? It could feasibly happen. I don't understand, though, your connection by saying that because General Motors was born here, it owes more to this community. I don't agree with that. Why not? Because I just don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a corporation that's in business to make a profit, and it does what it has to do to make a profit. That's the nature of corporations or companies. It's why people take their own money and invest, them in a, invest it in a business so that they can make money. It isn't to honor their hometown. You're espousing a philosophy, which apparently you are, that the corporation owes employees cradle to the grave security. I don't think that can be accomplished under a free enterprise system.